Hey everybody, I wanted to show you my book, Visual Guide for Metering. I just finished the book. Um, it's about 139 pages. It has nine different chapters. We go over all the metering basics. Um, here's the chapters right here. We go over metering basics, electricity, intro to vectors and math, vectors, transformers, and metering, meter details, transformer rated meter can components, pole mounts, installing overhead service step-by-step, -step, transformer rated meter test hookups, and meter complaints. It's a really good book for beginners and also advanced um, meter techs. The reason I say it's good for both is because when you're out in the field, um, even the basics, people don't aren't that familiar with the basics, but the intro to vectors and math and all that, that that'll come in, in handy in the field because you may need to calculate certain things and you may not be sure. Also, the vectors, transformers, and metering really breaks down how you get the vectors that you receive um, when you test the meters. So that's really useful because not everyone has a good understanding of how the vectors really work. Um, the meter details, I kept that pretty basic. It goes over how uh, we use solar and how we use time of use and normal meter displays and alternate meter displays. Transformer rated meter can components, that is more just showing you what's inside the transformer rated meters and what can shock you, what can't shock you. I go over a lot of the test switch and show the anatomy of it and how it all works. Um, pole mounts, this is insane, insanely good because you can bring it up anytime you're in the field and check yourself. And also, it... Uh, it has pole mounts for every single form. So it's perfect for always knowing, you know, what this form is supposed to look like. I uh, also have installing overhead service step by step. This is a Form 9S overhead service, and it shows you step by step from getting the order all the way to ending the order. Um, it's really, really, really helpful. Transformer rated meter test hookups, that's just showing you your test hookups, which is also very useful if you're um, not sure what you're doing and you want to look at it and it'll, it definitely helps it all come together. If you can understand your test hookups, you, you understand how the test switch works and everything like that. Uh, meter complaints, that is just to handle meter complaints. Um, it's very, very useful. It's what I use out in the field and it really solves people's problems and helps the customer feel a hundred percent better. Um, I really took, you know, took my time with that to make sure you really had all the information you needed. Uh, metering basics, just to go over it, this is what it kind of looks like. We go over the meter forms to know, front of meter, inside the meter, back of the meter, self-contained meters. And then we go transformer rated meters. I talk about all the applications for it. Um, we also start, we go from top down, so we go primary, secondary side. Uh, talk about Ys and deltas, um, the cable, uh, CTs and PTs. Then we go and talk about what vectors you're going to see for each. So that was just the basics covering um, all the basics that you need to know for metering without going super in-depth. But as we get on with the book, we're going to go more into depth. This is a um, this chapter right here definitely goes more into depth because I start you... Yeah, well, first we talk about you know top-down approach what you should know from the very top, everything that you're going to mess with, uh, with meters. And then we talk about how it's electricity is generated and go to vectors and, you know, how to read your vectors. And it really, really breaks vectors down at a very basic level. Um, go over math, and then once we get to the vectors, transformers, and metering, this is where it goes even more in depth. And we talk about, I kind of show you um, 
what kind of vectors you're going to see from the secondary side all the way through the meter and you know the alternating current that is produced when you see this type of vector so it's really helpful and i show you which meters don't change the vectors and which meter internals do change the vectors so it's really good and then you always have this as a self check out in the field it shows you everything that you need to know um, meter details show you all the different meter details um, as we go to transformer rate of meter can components I talk about all the different components that are inside the can we go over the anatomy um, I also show you what it looks like when it's energized, when it's not energized, talk about the neutral and ground. Um, we show how the can, if it's not grounded well, what will happen, do voltage checks, um, checking the current, amp calculations. This is the really good stuff, though, because it has each pole mount um, really laid out. So... If you look at these, it has it has the vectors, it has the power formula, it has um, the delta diagram or whatever diagram you're using from the secondary side. It has your CTs, labeled polarity, um, it has the cable, the form, and then you have the entire form um, set up. So this is the cable coming in, and it has all the cable going through the meter and coming out. It really shows every single thing you can imagine. Um, it has all the polarity. Um, it's just really useful as a check for yourself. And I, like I said, this can be changed to you, your color code if your energy company has a color code that you want to match. I can change this entire book to your color code. You would, for instance, tell me your voltage colors, your neutral color, and your current colors, and I will change the entire book to match it, test switch and all. So just let me know if that seems interesting to you. I have products on my Gumroad account, and uh, you can buy this book and 15 other chapters that my father made for 150 bucks which is a really good price compared to um other people's books on the market that don't really have any of this this has never been done before i did it because i needed a book like this when i was out in the field and i've never seen it done before so i have that product or you can buy the product that says uh metering books in your color code and basically, you're going to look at the description. It will have a way to contact me. You can call me or text me, and we can talk about it. Um, but the book and the 15 other chapters will also come with that. The visual metering guide will just be in your entire color code. So it will be very helpful for your meter techs out in the field. Um, if you were to just buy the book and the... 15 chapters that's this is how it'll come uh plus the other 15 chapters and it'll still be very very useful for your company or just for yourself if you wanted to learn it um this is basically everything you need to know out in the field it also takes you a step by step for so like everything you need in your van all the way to preparing what you need to get Preparing before the job, um, how to wire up the test switch, JSBs, um, you know, talking to the linemen, telling them what to do because that's really important as a meterman. And then I go over all the hookups for your test. So if you find this, oh yeah, and then I have your uh, your troubleshooting for meter complaints and how to handle high bills. So if any of this seems interesting to you, this is the best book out in the market, no doubt. I've never seen another book like this, plus my dad's books, which are 15 other chapters that cover important topics like solid state meters, self-contained meters, uh, elite meters, how to program them, uh, current transformers, potential transformers, 
and then installing 3S, 4S, 5S, 6S, and, and 9S form meters. So it has pretty much everything you can imagine.